This is Richard Sowa. Richard Sowa, S-O-W-A, Sowa. Richard has built an entire island by himself, made from plastic bottles wrapped in fruit bags with a little plywood and wooden pallets for support. It's made from plastic bottles. All the plastic bottles have got tops, they're tightened, so each one has a capsulated piece of air inside it. And that floats, of course. All of those are put in fruit sacks, which are available worldwide. All of these things are available on trash piles worldwide. Look, there's a bag of bottles underneath, you can see. So mm -hmm. these islands uh, uh, can be uh, lived on, of course. I'm living on this thing now. I have a house here, a three-level house, all floating on about half a meter of plastic bottles. Richard has grown many mangroves on the island, whose roots weave around the bottles to create an organic, sustainable netting. The bags lock themselves in like Lego. The, the bottle tops come out one net and go in another and they lock themselves in. And then the mangrove roots grow through and it's locked in permanently. And it's in darkness, the, the bottles don't corrode, they stay there for years and years and years. So this is a concept that makes land, that not only makes land but makes oxygen. It makes space for people to live because we've got a population explosion over the whole planet. And humans are destroying the nature by creating cities, roads and burning fossil fuels which eliminates the oxygen at fast speeds right now. Nature will always balance itself out. Sure. But the thing is, if we can give it a helping hand, there is a solution. And it, the trash is the key to paradise, actually. We think it's trash and we just throw it away. But actually, everything has a use. And if we learn to use everything, then we can balance everything out. Now, with that trash, we can create enough land to balance the whole thing out. Richard has also created on his island handmade weights, a floating bed raft, working shower, composting toilet, sinks, and other marvels. He also has many more eco-friendly ideas to implement on his island. And even electricity can be created straight from the salt water using copper and aluminium diodes, just using the trash even. A uh, bit of copper from the trash, a bit of aluminium, few aluminium cans with a, uh, a conductive wire through them both, put them in the water, join them together, you've got direct current. Wow, look at this beautiful insect. Oh my God, check this out. <laughs> I have never seen anything so unusual. Even though his ideas are based on eco-conservation and saving the planet, he's just as passionate about keeping an aesthetic eye on the beauty and artistry of what he's creating. So why is Richard spending every penny and waking moment of his life on his floating plastic bottle island? Why can't we have a beautiful world where we're all like living in paradise and the animals are all happy and you see it in the Garden of Eden, the story, but you don't see it in reality, you know? And so, you know, I was always um, wondering if it, if it is possible, you know? And then, you know, listening to different religions, talking and about the prophecies, the Bible, and like other things like the Mayan calendar saying that it's gonna all come to a big change. And, and uh, thinking, well, can we stop uh, like these big disasters uh, that are maybe some people f prophesy, you know, like I'm um, again the end of the world, the planet gets breaking all up, and you know, and then it, it maybe cools down again and starts off again. You know, can we can we get through that? And then I uh, believe in life out there. I believe in goodness, you know, because if if we have bad and we can see we have bad, right? Then we have to have the opposite. Because a lot of people say, well, yeah, you know. Uh, we have good, so therefore you have to have bad, right? You have hot, you have to have cold, right? So, but uh, it's very, it's actually, you don't see a lot of goodness, but uh, there is goodness, and so we can develop that, you know, and um, we could create wonderful things. To learn more about Richard and his island, go to spiralislanders.com.